Hi everyone! It looks like I'm gonna do this today now, finally. Um, as you see, I did cut my bangs, and it's because I didn't have any choice. We all know how hard it is to not get your hair to fall out when you're bleaching your hair all the time. I'm getting kind of sick of looking at yellow on my head all the time, so I think I'm just gonna do something else. And we're gonna go blue this time, because I like blue. So, this is what we got to start with. And, um, I'm gonna go a little backwards this time. I'm gonna ble bleach. I'm gonna dye my roots black first, just so I got some depth going on in there. And then the rest of it, um, I'm gonna cut my extensions out, comb out the ends so they fray a little bit. And then I'm going to put um, Blue Manic Panic in it. I got a couple of different dark blues, and I think I'm just going to experiment with whatever feels good at the time. So um, here's my extensions. They're pretty long. They start really dark at the top, and that's going to be what color, hopefully, we come out with with the Manic Panic. And uh, so, yeah, should be fun. And I will... I'll have you join me every step of the way. <laughs> Alright, so I just rinsed out that black stuff, black blue, and it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Thank goodness. So, um, it doesn't look like I'll need to use much Manic Panic, but you can't really tell in the camera so much, but here it looks very, very blue. Um, obviously my ends and stuff, um, need to be more concentrated, but, um, I think I can go ahead and start cutting out the extensions and combing out what little ends I have and then uh, blast it with the hair dryer and go from there. fried than I thought they were actually too. I had one over here. I ripped it right off and then here's another one starting to do it. I don't know if you can see. See how it's ripped right there? I ripped one off that was right here. So uh, I'm gonna have to makeshift one in its place. Wish me luck. All right fam, we are almost there. My hair is blue. My dreads are right where they need to be. What happened after I combed out the raggedy blonde ends was um, I blasted it with the hair dryer. Then I went and switched my laundry. Then I, uh, I put the blue manic panic in. I think I used the after midnight one, actually. One, the other one I got was shocking blue, but when I looked at them, I think... After midnight was a little bit lighter, which is perfect for what I needed. It's perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. It's the exact same shape. Okay, so then I washed that out and dried my dreads again. I actually used like shampoo and really got in there since there's like it's a lot easier to wash your hair when it's like really short like this. Oh yeah, I got a clip. Okay. Um, so I already went ahead and put one in, and I had a hair clip in there just to. Sh separate um here it is it's on my scalp Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
and I, I wrapped it up to the root pretty much, so I'm going to have to wait a really long time before I cut these ones out. But that's okay, because uh, I'm going to like this. I think it's going to look really good. Um, I wasn't... They're a little longer than what I was expecting, really. I kind of underestim overestimated... under. I don't know what this means now. Because I'm going to have, like, a main... You see how long this is? Look at how long this is. Do, do, do. And it's like in there, do, 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 in there. And it's like really long. It's like past my coochie. <laughs> like it's, I'm going to be like having to hold these so they don't fall in the toilet and all kinds of stuff. My food. <sighs> I didn't think this one through, but um, I skipped all that stuff mostly so that I could go ahead and show you in real time what it's like to put one of these things in and how long it takes us to do one and i've got about i had 57 to begin with but as i stated earlier one of my dreads fell out i don't know if i'm just gonna have to wait for that spot to grow out and do a little dready turd ball and then attach another one later because i did make a few extras of these things um but, it, you know, whatever. There's so damn many all over my head, you're not going to be able to tell anyways. Especially with all the flyaways that happen in between. So, I'm just going to start in the back, work my way forward. The one that I lost is right here in the front, like right up in front of my, right in front of my ear. Right here. See the short hair? Yeah, that was a dreadlock. I was yanking on the, on the extension part when I was combing it out and it just went... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, let's, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this one time. I'm going to make another video on how to do all of other videos to show you how to do all of these things. But, uh, it definitely takes practice. I've been doing this for a very long time. A couple of years now. Almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Jesus. All right, I'm going to clip them. I'm going to find the one you want to work on. Do -do -do. I'm going to clip all the rest up and out of the way so they don't mess with your project. Come on, man. All right, so we got this guy right here singled out. Here's my dread. I've been picking the longest ones out of the stack so that the longest ones are in the back and the shortest ones are in the front and they're all... They're all pretty fucking long though, so I don't think it's gonna matter very much. Alright. Got this uh, tiny little crochet hook right here. This is what makes the magic happen. There it is. Tiny, tiny, tiny. It's a 0.85 millimeter. It's my favorite one. I used a 0.5 before and I broke it off inside of the dread on accident and it's long gone now. But the 0.85 is like probably a lot better because I find the one millimeters to be a little too big. I like to make them a little tighter than what that one will do. So we got the floofy end here and then this floofy end here. The dread itself starts here. So I'm gonna overlap these hard end to hard end and I'm going to use this little hook to pull the extension hair into my existing dread and through it so that we can start wrapping it and pulling it through and wrapping it and pulling it through until it has formed a massive tight knot like right here. All right here we go.
Alright, see it's already like hanging there, but very, very, very lightly. We start to wrap pieces around. You get a real good knot start. And you don't want to pull too hard because then you'll rip the hairs. If you feel any resistance, just kind of go with it. Don't, don't yank because that's when you're going to rip your hair to shreds. If you feel any resistance, just stop pulling. Find a new spot and keep going in at different angles. All around both dreads so that they start to blend together more. I left a big tail on these dreads just because I knew that I was going to need a lot of extra hair. <laughs> See, now we're starting to get somewhere. The more hair you got, the more of a dread you can make, obviously. So, let me focus the hair in different spots that I want more attention paid. such as right at the tips, go right through the middle, go off to the side, pull up from down, down from up, all kinds of stuff. So you can even see it starting to get a little more, more structure to it. Let's come all the way up to the top where they connect to begin with. I'm going to do longer, slower strokes to begin with, and then once you got it attached and you're just building the skin around it, basically, you need like a skeleton and then you need the skin. You build the skeleton in the middle, and then you build the skin on for thickness, you know what I mean? I stab myself a lot, a lot, a lot. And sorry if I don't talk very loud, it's just me, you know, so I'm just kind of like, I don't normally just talk to myself. Yep. So usually when I do this, I put a movie on. <laughs> I don't really need to see what I'm doing that much anymore because I can kind of feel it. I have a tiny little like fold-out mirror that I use when I'm watching movies in the living room and doing this stuff. Yep. Still getting there. Still getting there. I'm gonna lean up on the sink here because my legs are getting numb. I'm one of those people that can't sit or stand for long periods of time without their body parts numbing up. I think it's because I smoke. Yep. Um, see, we're getting there. Get a little fatty, so I'm gonna get all this like hair that's sticking out around the sides here. I'm gonna try to fold that into it, tuck it in, so that I don't have like the flyaways. Plus, it adds structure. What I'm doing is kind of like creating an Iron Maiden for my dreadlocks. I don't know. Don't mind me, my mind wanders like so far. Just 
Suit and crocheting. Suit and crocheting. But I really need movies and TV shows in my life because I need to keep my attention on other stuff besides just my own mind. Yep. 11 minutes. But this part's been recording for at least. Jeez. I hope you guys are finding this really interesting because this is the best I can do for showing you how to do this on my own head. I'll have to make a video with some like brighter colored hair and show you more techniques and stuff with hair that's like not attached to my head so that I can show you a better angle instead of letting you see like all my craters. And I got new, new piercings, my Christmas present to me along with my new weave. On oh, styling. Almost there. And when it starts getting tight is when you're going to stab yourself a little more because it's tight. You know, you're trying to shove this hook in and it's like that big and so it's going to go in your fingers. Those are my stain, my blue stained scabs for stabbing myself. Blood, sweat, and tears goes into almost every set of dreadlocks that I make. So, you're guaranteed to have them washed <laughs> before I give them to you, I promise. Because this is a very long and grueling process. You see how long this is taken, and this is only like an inch of dread that's happening right here. I already made the extensions, it took me like four fucking weeks. With the exception, of course, I've got like four projects, four synthetic dreadlock projects going on because I get so fucking sick of looking at them. It's like any crochet project, it gets so damn monotonous. And when you're making like 50 to 80 of the exact same dread, and they're like super long too, then it's like, ugh, kill me. For Christmas, I need silicone uh, thimbles. I think people use them for like letter opening or something like that. I might have to go to Office Max and find them. I thought I was going to be able to find them at Joanne Fabric with the metal ones, but they got some weird other ones that look like finger casts and they got like plastic on them and weird stuff going on. I just need a couple of thimbles because I stab my fingers a lot. I'm like ruining my fingers. So anybody has it in their heart to get me some silicone thimble stocking stuffers, that would be really nice. I'm running out of band-aids <laughs> to guard my fingers from out with. <sighs> Alright, I think we're about there. Got a couple of flyaways, let me wrap those. Oh yeah, and I got these like awesome silver beads that I'm gonna put all over my hair once it's all in, and it's gonna look sick as fuck. Yes. I'm gonna look like a sexy Jack Frost. <laughs> okay. Blend them together more at the top so I don't have a regular dread and then a lump. Looks good to me. It's palm roll. Get some heat going. Alright, here we go. We got two. I got about. Fifty-five to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut this off now. I'm gonna go watch Miss March. Wait for my man to get home from work. 
and uh, I'll update you when I'm about done. How's that for ya? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is now tomorrow, and I watched three movies last night, and I got about almost 20 of them in. I got about 19 to 20 of them in. So here's... There it is. I still have two thirds almost of the way to go. I'm about to have some coffee and I'm going to get it started again. It's done finally. It's the same day, only several, several hours later. It is now 3 o'clock in the morning, 5 minutes till 3 o'clock in the morning. And I've been at this all day. I've barely eaten. I'm on, like, no sleep. My head is killing me. And I don't know how long I'm going to be able to last with these things in my head. You see how big? I have it wrapped up. I have it wrapped up because I'm about to get in the shower. I'm about to go to bed. Yes. I'm not going to take this down right now because it took me like 20 minutes to figure out how to wrap it up. So I need to YouTube some like long dreadlock hairstyles because this shit is so fucking heavy. I might kill myself. So I'm going to have to probably cut them shorter at some point. But um, I want to wait until as long as possible because the tips are white. So those are going to get dirty. I bend over to touch my toes and they're all over the floor. So there's not really a whole lot I can do about that now. I keep looking at myself in the camera instead of you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure I don't look retarded. But uh, I feel fucking retarded. I'm so tired. So uh, I'll check in in the morning and let you know how my night went sleeping on these things. Good luck to my boyfriend. I love you. You're a soldier. Mm. Okay, here's the final snippet of what my hair looks like. It's been a long day cleaning house, and I am actually really ready to take this down now and see what's going on with it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and untie my bandana that's been keeping all of this stuff tame. If I can, I'm just going gonna, gonna to lift it off. Huh. Maybe not. Jesus. Ooh, wee, that is heavy. All right, so here's this. Do, 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 do. It's all the way down here by my belly. It's all curly and crazy right now because it's been up in that bone thing all night, all day. So here we go. Uh, there it is, baby. Hold that. Uh, all right, down a little. It actually doesn't feel that bad when it's all like loose and flowing together. You know what I mean? It's a little more um just fluid. Isn't it fun? I really like it. It's my baby hair. It is like very obviously weave. <laughs> I did end up being able to put a full dreadlock on the little baby one. Stop. Right on the little baby one right here. The little dread was only like this long. Like right like a little 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 fingertip dread fingertip dread right here and i got it to stick pretty good this is the one so i thought i was gonna have to just let it be until it grew out a little bit but i'm a boss like that so 
And I got some extra ones too in case something stupid happens and I get it caught in like an elevator door or something and I gotta rip it off real quick. I got some extra ones to replace them with and a lot of extra hair left too because it took a lot of fucking hair to make. So I have a lot of extra hair just in case. <laughs> so I've had um, a couple of full days now with this hairdo and I, I went to Walmart and to McDonald's in this time and I'm getting compliments and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so far it's being received well and uh, I like it. It's not as heavy anymore now that I'm starting to get used to it. My scalp's a little sore anyway still. Um, but you know what? It's okay. My sister put some beads in it for me today. It's nice. Blue fire, blue fire, blue fire. Blue fire, mm, 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 blue fire, uh, uh, uh.